Hey there beautiful people, welcome to Shaw's TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chicken curry sauce. This is no ordinary chicken curry guys, this is my special recipe and it's absolutely delicious. Everyone that has tried it always asks me how do you do it, so I'm here to show you my special recipe. I hope you enjoy this. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and join our growing family. Here I share easy, delicious, tasty, nutritious recipes you can make right in your kitchen. So I'm going to be using some chicken legs or drumsticks as some people call them for our curry today. You can use chicken thighs or you can use some chicken breasts or whatever part you like but I prefer the legs. And then we're going to season up. I'm using a blend mix to start off with some bell peppers, some red onions and some serrano peppers. Just go ahead and blend all of that together and add that into your chicken. Make sure your chicken is already cleaned out. Just pour all of that in there. I have here about 15 drumsticks. I'm only going to use about 8 of them for the actual sauce. Now add some seasoning powder or seasoned cubes. I'm using 2 cubes here. Some dried thyme, 2 teaspoons, some curry powder, some adobo seasoning which I love, some dried pepper or cayenne pepper, some salt. Mix all of that together and then we're just going to add a little bit of water just to combine all of that. We want that chicken stock to come out tasty. So just a quarter cup of water, cover that up and cook it on medium high heat. After about 20 minutes go ahead and check your chicken. Make sure it's tasting delicious and check and see if it's tender. If it's not, go ahead and cover it for a few more minutes. So once your chicken begins to fall off the bone, go ahead and take it out and strain. If you like what you see, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. So just go ahead and strain all of that out. And like I said, I'm using only about eight of them. So for the rest, you can just put that in your 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about maybe 15 minutes just to get it crispy and you can eat that with whatever dish you like. So for the rest of our chicken that I'm gonna be using for the sauce, about eight of them, I've gone ahead to debone them and just peel off the flesh into chunks. As big or as small as you want them. I like mine pretty chunky as you can see. And I'm also gonna use some of the bones. For our vegetables I have here, you can use whatever you want guys. But I have here some red onions, I have some carrots, I have some sweet bell peppers, sweet mini and some green bell peppers and of course serrano pepper for some heat. You can use whatever vegetables you like. I'm also going to add some milk, I'm using 2% oops, reduced milk, you can also use some plant based milk and for our thickener I'm using some cornstarch. If you, if you notice I'm using no potatoes in my chicken curry because that's how I like it. We also have our chicken stock from boiling our chicken. Very important step, don't miss this guys. So in a saucepan go ahead and add some butter or whatever fat you want. Butter is highly recommended, it tastes good. <laughs> add some carrots and your onions first because those need to cook a little longer than the rest. Just cook this on about a medium high heat. And once your onions start to get translucent, go ahead and add the rest of your vegetables. And just kind of fry all of that together. Now I like my vegetables slightly crunchy, so I'm not going to overcook and I don't recommend you overcooking at this stage. Just a light fry and then we're going to go add the rest. Add your chicken stock. If you made your chicken stock too salty, you may not want to use all of them. Mine is just perfect, so I used everything. So add a little bit of water just to get it lighter for now. And then we're going to add our chicken chunks. I'm also going to be adding some of my chicken bones in there, y'all. So don't judge me. If you don't want your bones, don't put them in there. But I highly recommend it if you're like me and you like chewing on bones. <laughs> anyway, cover it up. Oops wrong cover. 
So cover it up and let that just simmer on about medium high heat for a few minutes. And now I'm going to be adding our milk. Like I said, I'm using some 2% reduced fat milk. You can use full fat or a plant-based milk. Add half a cup into your saucepan. Mix all of that together and taste it. Make sure you like how it's tasting. I'm going to adjust my seasoning by adding some adobo powder, some curry powder, some thyme, and some garlic powder. Mix all of that again. Make sure you taste it. Always do a taste and make sure it tastes just the way you want it. Ooh, it's tasting so yummy, guys. So now we're going to thicken with our cornstarch water combination. I'm using about a quarter cup of water with about two to three tablespoons of cornstarch. If you want it thicker, use more. If you want it lighter, use less. And once that cooks for about two minutes, our sauce is ready. It's smelling so delicious. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you try this recipe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I post a new recipe video. You can serve your curry sauce with some rice, brown rice, basmati rice, long grain rice, whatever rice you want. Ooh, I recommend jasmine rice as well. Or maybe if you're going low carb, you can serve this with some cauliflower rice, some broccoli rice, whatever you want. You can also eat this with some potatoes. So do whatever rolls your boat. I'm eating mine with some brown rice, as you can see here. Mm. I can't wait to dig it. It looks so good, smells so good, and it tastes absolutely delicious. Now that's my special chicken curry sauce recipe, guys. And until next time, it's your girl, Charles, sending you lots of love and blessings. Bye!